Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This two minute tip video is all about growing pumpkins and winter squash. They are large vining plants and you really want to take advantage of something that they do. And this will prevent them from dying off more quickly if they get a vine borer, if they get a disease, if they get problematic insects. So these plants are just getting started. These are pumpkin plants and they are going to be able to sprawl all over the garden here. I'll be removing the potatoes. As they're sending out vines, they're also going to be doing something else. And this is what you really want to take advantage of. And then we'll go over to my acorn squash and butternut squash. And I'll show you how I'm doing that there. I'm also trellising them. But you want your pumpkins to run. And you can see right here, it's sending out a root over here. It's sending out another root into the ground. And the vine will continue to do that. That will strengthen the vine. You can also take some of your soil, drop it right into the joint, water it down, roots will form. And why is that important? If you trellis any pumpkin, if it's a smaller pumpkin of course, or your winter squash straight up, you only have one connection to the ground. If that connection gets damaged, the plant dies off. This Sprawl one. all across the space, establish the new roots. The second thing you want to do is start spraying your pumpkin and winter squash, acorn, butternut, spaghetti early before the powdery mildew and diseases come in. When your plants are smaller, it's easier to spray on the underside, top side, get your sprays down. Now, you don't always know when powdery mildew is going to arrive or problems are going to arrive, but take notes, start spraying about two weeks early. That will really keep the plants alive long enough to get great pumpkins and great squash. Let's go over to the acorn and butternut. Here are the butternut squash and acorn squash, and you can see all the butternut squash that are forming in here, going all the way back. We'll go on the other side. These plants get huge. That's what I wanted to show you. The vines continue to grow out here onto my compost bin. They're growing down through there, along the back, and they're coming out over here. So you need a lot of room for these plants to really do well, but you don't need to plant four, five, six, seven plants. Two plants, butternut squash, you'll have plenty, but let, let it go to a place where it can sprawl because this plant will also put down roots wherever it contacts the ground. And you can also help that along again, you know, way over here in my compost pile by just dropping down some compost over it. We'll give it a backup root system in case something happens. All right, let's go to the main plant. On the left are my two acorn squash plants and on the right are the two butternut squash plants. And you can see that they're doing really well. The third tip, you know, we have let them sprawl or let the vines make contact, get roots, start spraying two weeks early, keep up your routine of spraying. It's not fertilizing. Of course they need fertilizer. Um, pruning really makes a difference. I'll link, link my pruning video into here. But what really makes a difference to get plants like this is watering. I can't stress enough the importance of these massive plants getting water every other day as they start getting to size, at least every three days when a little bit smaller and getting to this point. Soak the soil down so the top four to six inches are getting lots of water, mulch. Keep this area moist. They, these plants send out tons of surface roots. You saw how the vines root out. They need that moisture. You keep a lot of moisture, again, moisture, the plants are going to do really well. Of course, fertilize with your water-soluble fertilizer every week or two. I use fish emulsion, but people miss the watering part. And that's why a lot of times the plants struggle. Coming around this side, you can see just how beautifully the leaves are, nice and green. The butternuts are doing well, and the vines are moving everywhere. Now, I trellis this upwards because it does help with space. So as they go up, I also bring them back down. Sometimes I tuck them back in. So you can also trellis your plants, save space, but also let some of these vines move. I really feel again, and I'm gonna say it, that the moisture probably is the biggest tip and the biggest difference between getting a nice production and then getting plants that really thrive and do amazingly well. Water your plants regularly. Thanks for watching, and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.